you get a call from Neville and he's like, I want you to make these billboards. Do you want to do them? And I'm like, of course. Neville came not with just one billboard, but with a series of billboards. I'm a visual artist. I was trained as a photographer. I'm really interested in the way different formal languages have conversations between each other. My brain really started to kind of go and think about like, well, what can I say and do with this large scale announcement? I found images from the Mets collection that are in the public domain. And I intermingled those images with a lot of signs. Saviera, I've always been intrigued by her work. She packages these billboards in the language of advertising. You know, I think about Barbara Kruger, but I also think about fine art photography, like Richard Avedon. When I'm making these billboards, I'm thinking about a conversation between the billboard company, the land that it sits on, the men who are gonna put the billboard up, and then the passers-by, all of that primarily is dominated by white people. Billboards have a way of constructing whiteness. It's about how we think about race, but particularly not how she thinks about race, I think, but, but how we think about race, how I think about race when I'm driving my car down Gene Autry and look up and see these uh, incredible images with these very challenging texts. Whiteness as a construction has to shift entirely. And we still have to be able to look at these 19th century paintings and be able to fall in love with all of the things inside of them.